Alright, in light part two. Uh, in this part, I'm going to show off some of the guns that you get. Uh, you get assault rifles, you get shotguns, you get pistols. And they, they, I really like the guns. I mean, the way that they look, uh, the way that they fire, the way that you scope in. You click down on right thumbstick to actually scope in. And um, they're really accurate. I mean, one thing about the guns, too, though, is that you don't want to use them very often because when you do... Uh, these enemies called the virals will actually come out and, and um, they run really fast and they can do some mad damage on you with their melee attacks. So you don't use guns very often because the zombies can hear it. Now that was an exploder guy. Um, so when I shot him, a lot of these guys around him blew up. But this is showing off the shotgun a little bit here. And this was a challenge that I did uh, earlier with my boy Agent on uh, Xbox One. Now this is uh, just showing off the menu real quick. And that guy's got a special deal for you. So, you know, kind of reminiscent of, of Resident Evil, uh, what you buying, what you selling. Uh, pretty cool, you, get, you got stores, um, you got safe zones. This safe zone here is called the tower, which is the main safe zone uh, in the first part of the game. And you can set up safe zones all over town but you have to actually go in and clear out the zombies and you have to turn on the electricity and you have to shut the doors and then that way you know you can make a safe zone yourself uh, and once you do that safe zone is always there for you uh, this shows a power slash and so that's early on in the game so if your weapons aren't that great you can actually kind of wind up your power one of the main, or the main enemies, uh, the the main enemy in the game is a guy named Rice, and he has human uh, thugs or whatever, his little uh, helpers that uh, try to stop you from doing stuff and uh, hinder your hinder your uh, you know quests. Um, in this part, I've cleared out a building, and then yeah, I got attacked by that guy, so he got headshotted, of course. And to all those people thinking about trying Dying Light... So, at last you are here. I sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Perhaps you are resistant to... Yeah, I think you guys are, are way too Good. slow. Um, if you've been, you know, watching YouTube so clips of Dying Light gameplay, if you've been uh, um, stuck on Such Destiny for the last several content. months and not really uh, figuring out if you had anything else to play, <laughs> you definitely missed the boat on Dying Light. Um, you know, Evolve's coming out pretty soon, Battlefield Hardline's coming out pretty soon. This is definitely a good game. It's not something that you can go back to and play uh, time and time again for years to come. But it's definitely a solid uh, game that you can definitely uh, take a break from some of the games that you've been playing and, and get away and just do some mindless hack and slash on some uh, zombies. And this kind of shows off uh, firecrackers. So firecrackers is a diversion. You can throw firecrackers out. Guys will uh, go over to the firecrackers, of course. They're drawn to the sound. And then you can throw grenades at them. And again, this was early on in the game as well. And so the grenade doesn't kill them per se you can see I threw two grenades and it just kind of stuns them so early on in the game your grenades aren't really that great and I'm showing off my baseball bat with uh, electricity and nails and this is kind of just showing off the uh, parkour aspect where you're running across buildings. Uh, one thing I really liked about this game was the environments like I say in Dead Island uh, it was more cartoony uh, this is more realistic like the graphics look more real uh, to true to life than uh, what they did in Dead Island now this clip here shows that the, there's the screen has like a yellowish tinge to it what that means is that I've rubbed zombie guts and blood all over myself and I'm blending in with them so they don't know that I'm a human when you have this little yellow tinge on your screen and this kind of shows off just um, Basically killing a few zombies here. 